I'm going to do, well, this week, I'm going to do um, 20 random facts about me. There was a challenge going around, I don't know, about four years ago that was 30 random facts about a bunch of homesteaders, but um, I was a little afraid that 30 would take me too long. So I'm doing 20. I am an extreme introvert. You probably wouldn't know that. Or maybe, maybe it's very obvious in my videos. I don't know. Uh, basically, I am the friend that wants to be invited, but I don't want to come. Also, a check for my coveralls that are extremely too big. Uh, these were, I talked about them in my last video, and uh, maybe they don't look as big, but like they're hanging down, they're, it's actually hard to like function in them well. Um, but they get the job done when you don't really have the extra funds to buy yourself fitting gear. So thanks, thanks Roger, thanks honey for loaning them to me. And uh, so yeah, that was my random fact number one and I better not ramble or I won't get through all 20. Random fact number two is that I can't record and pull a wagon at the same time. No, random fact number two is that I have wanted to be a homesteader for as long as I can remember. Um, but and I think I've mentioned this before that I I don't know why I waited till this year to start. Or, well, just last year. So I'm just here to tell you, don't wait till you're in your 40s. I know they say it's never too late to start, and it's not. I'm here. I'm starting. But don't wait till you're in your 40s to start the dream that you've always wanted. If it's something you want, start it now. Random fact number three. I love to sing. I love to sing, but I don't do it publicly. I don't, I don't know if I'm any good. I tried to join the church choir one time, but I wasn't a part of the clique, so that didn't work out very well. Uh, but yeah, I love to sing. Number four, my biggest accomplishment in life. Aside from being a wife and a mother. Everybody, see the voice coming out. Um is being emancipated at the age of 16. I was um, a teen mom, which I think might be a different yeah, in fact. I have a list. Um, but I was actually the first emancipated minor in our county back in 1993. Um, by law, you had to be 16. and Which brings me to random fact number five is that I was actually a teen mom had my first baby at the age of 15. At the age of 13, I had um, cysts that were on my ovaries that were like wrapped around like this and was actually told that I probably wouldn't have kids. So um, I have successfully given birth to five boys. I have seven boys all together. Uh, I think that's pretty amazing. I love coffee. Like, not bougie coffee, I don't need to go to Starbucks and spend too much, just love me a cup of coffee. For years I drank it just with cream, I don't need flavored creamers, like any of that. Um, but actually, within the last couple of years I started doing intermittent fasting, so I drink it black, like a full on grown up. But coffee and water, like my two favorite drinks. Number seven, I don't generally tend to be of person that jumps on the bandwagon with styles um, even as a photographer like certain poses that would come into style like and take over all the rave i just never been one to jump on it even this homesteading thing i mean it might seem like i'm jumping on the bandwagon now but it's actually been my heart's mission for many many years i do not know how to sew about 10 maybe 12 years ago I begged and begged and begged for a sewing machine. Phil bought me one for Mother's Day. I got it out using the manual. I threaded it up and I sewed for almost 24 hours straight. Just a bunch of like straight line things. Pillows for the boys, little bags. They were all like horribly done, but I was so proud. I uh, packed up my sewing machine and never touched it again after. So it's definitely one of my goals in the near future is to learn the skill of sewing. Number nine, we're talking about piercings and tattoos. 
So technically, I have, I don't know, 10 piercings. I have a whole bunch of holes that go up my ear. I only wear the first pair now, so most of them close up. I think at one point I had, I don't know, eight holes in one ear and six in the other. And then I do have this, wrong side, I do have this small ring up here. Uh, I wanted my nose pierced since I was probably 12. My mom wouldn't let me. Uh, instead, she let me get a cat tattoo. Um, and the joke, maybe not a joke, uh, Phil is often encouraging me to go ahead and get my nose pierced. I just feel like 44 is probably a little late to add that kind of spunk to my life. Um, so yeah, piercings, tattoos, I technically have three. I have a large baby devil on my leg that I absolutely hate. I had one removal treatment done years ago. Um, that hurts worse than the tattoo itself. Um, I have some mushrooms on the outside of my leg and then they're hardly noticeable now but I used to have hearts on these two fingers that I actually did myself with an old friend. We just did it old school style with a needle and thread. I've done some wild stuff in my days guys. Number 10. I love Jesus but I cuss a little. Yes. I am um, a born, bleh, not even going to redo it. I am a born again Christian, but I do believe that words, uh, no matter whether they're what society deems as curse words, or if it's something that you've come up with yourself to replace the societal curse word, it's all a matter of heart. So where your heart is, your mouth speaks, right? About... 19, 20 years ago, I actually apprenticed to be a midwife for about almost two years. Um, it's actually using this as number 11 and 12 because number 12 is that I am actually a nurse by trade and that's what started it all. I approached, I decided I wanted to be a midwife. I approached a gal at church back 22 years ago, um, explained, to, I told her that I wanted to be a midwife, but then I explained to her that I had become a teen mom and I dropped out of high school and she kind of laughed. Um, she told me to go get my GED, sign up for the nursing program and to call her. Six months later, I called her and told her that I start nursing school the following week. Um, at that time is when I also had my, our now 19 year old Cole. So I did apprentice for almost two years. I ended up going into the nursing field to work because that was about the same time that Phil got injured. Um, a lot more story than I can add into this random facts dialogue. But yeah, so I am not a midwife. I never did finish, but I have no regrets for the experience that that gave me. Since quitting my nursing job, well, even before then, I left acute care nursing Oh, 12 years ago this year, so March of 2012, I left the acute care setting. And that's when August of that same year is when I started my photography business. And since then, I have owned uh, three other businesses. I ran an apparel company with a couple other gals. I have run uh, like a gift and boutique type of company. It all started because I wanted to make my own coffee mugs because, you know, back to random fact number six that I love coffee um, and then I even recently started a nonprofit business uh, art program that probably won't go anywhere but um, because of my focus is here but yeah so like four businesses that I've owned and I'm happy to just be home homesteading sharing my life with you my biggest fear in life is jail I spent the night in the youth center when I was 15 and pregnant. Um, just due to some other circumstances, I was with a girl that got in some trouble uh, when the police officer went to bring me home at the time. Uh, my mom was heavily into drugs and they knew that, so when she wasn't home, they took me to the youth center. Uh, I cried all night in that stainless steel room. I was convinced they were going to take my baby away. And stemming from that, I don't ever, ever, ever want to spend a single moment in a jail cell. Number 15. One of my all-time favorite TV shows is Little House on the Prairie. Like, I could watch that on repeat all the time. Pretty much all I ever watch now is YouTube, but every once in a while I'll go back through and watch those old classics. I was born in the wrong era, really. Yay.
Number 16, I am an absolute lover of thrift shopping, antiquing, that kind of thing. I don't like to buy like all of the stuff, but I do okay. love, like, yeah, it's like a challenge to go through and find like the neatest item or like an old vintage kitchen item. It's mostly kitchen stuff that I'll scour for. With that said, I'm also not really a collector of junk, I guess you could say, or stuff. Um, I don't have knickknacks. Uh, I, I probably have more decor now than I ever have just because I'm trying to make the house look nicer, but um, I can easily go through and purge. Definitely. I'm like a very good purger and probably living in a small house helps with that, but yeah, I take pride in the fact that I'm not, I don't think I'm a collector of junk. I do have a lot of kitchen stuff. I probably could get rid of some of it. But you know, as you know, if you run a homestead, it requires a lot of tools. Okay, except books. I'm a total book addict. And planners. Like, a good planner for the year is very important to me. It always has been. And ironically, I have a really hard time throwing them away. If I looked through my closet and my nightstand and my desk, I probably have planners dating at least 10 years back. I started to box them up because I was like, I can do this. But I... I almost feel like it's it's like a low-key journal for me. I can go back and look at things, right? I don't know. I need to get rid of them. Number 19. This beautiful thing. I have not drank a Mountain Dew in uh, almost eight years. Probably seven and a half years. Um, addiction runs in my family, and that's a whole other story. Maybe I'll share it one day. And... Although I will easily tell you I'm addicted to sweets, I'm addicted to coffee, um, the mental stronghold that I felt like Mountain Dew had on me, like it would be the end of a bad day and I was just like, oh, can't wait to get an ice cold Mountain Dew. I know, it probably sounds weird to some people, but it was a really hard mental shift for me and one day I just said, you know, like, I can't, I can't have this, I can't have this in my mind and so... I gave up Mountain Dew. I'm not a big pop drinker, but Mountain Dew was definitely a thing for me. Um, so yeah, I gave that up about eight years ago. And there are still days that I miss and crave an ice cold Mountain Dew, especially on a hot summer day. One of my fondest memories of my Bushi, who died when I was young, was the butter and honey sandwiches she would make me. I almost prevented myself from pursuing this dream even now because six out of seven of our boys are grown. But I also have grandchildren coming now, and I want to teach them to love life, stop and smell the flowers, enjoy the little things, grow their own food in their backyard and build sustainability. Dedication, hard work, all of those things, I want to build that legacy for them. I want to teach them the art of slowing down and appreciating this life we've been given. And I want to thank you for growing with me. And until next time, stay humble.